Hi, I'm Vishweshwar. In this video, we are going to see the networking device that is a gateway, definitions of it, types, and its working. Gateways are devices like uh, we can't say that it's a complete hardware, complete networking hardware category. It's a combination of a networking hardware and a software combination. So uh, it is used, in a ba the basic benefit of it is that it can connect two different networks at the same time. Like how the router works uh, connecting two different networks, uh, Gateway does has the quality to connect two different kinds of network. And also has the property of connecting uh, different formattings and connecting with different communication protocols and architectures also. So these gateways repack the complete information so that it can be read even by all the other systems or by all the other networks. So it makes a compatible view of version so that all the other devices or the, all the other computer networks can also read it. it communicates with an application a well-established way and a management session it just has a management session even if it is connected to a two different networks it translates the encoded data also the impact of the logical and physical address is also taken note by the gateway and it would be easy for the gateway device to process a networking gateway is an internet working system so it is joining two different networks together also it implements completely with the software sometimes completely with the hardware it's a combination of two now the network gateways can operate at any level in the os so it is not a specific thing that we can mention in the os osi category so it has a multi-level, but uh, from the application protocol, if you see, it is the lower level of the signal. The gateways can reside on servers, microcomputers, or a mainframe computers. It is more expensive than the routers because of the vast capability and the, and it's almost an application specific. So it seems to be it's costlier than the router or a bridge but the data transmission uh, data communication between two different networks is slower than the bridges or the router because of complex transactions are happening at the same time they are slow but the gateways have the potential to cause extreme network conjunction so sometimes like a uh, various activities are done at the same time so sometimes there are chances like network conjunctions might happen so here in this diagram you can see like uh, there are various two different types of internet that is intranet that is two different networks connected together and uh, a client computer with a dns server here and various local area connections and the firewall is uh, is acts like a device over here so there is a multiple things of combination that happens with uh, gateway the gateways are of four type the email gateway the IBM host gateway internet gateway and the LAN gateway in the email gateway we can see like it translates it translates the message from one type of email system to another so here there is an example like a group wise email so if there is a group of people uh, created a group for sending emails correspondingly like if another system tries to send an email to them it modifies or it translates according to uh, according to the group topics or according to the group informations that it provides a relevant informations that is given from the source so a form of translation happens between the one system to another with with the purpose of email and the ibm host gateway the ibm host gateway is specially used for the communication between pc 
a normal desktop computer clean computer with an IBM mainframe computer the mainframe computer is nothing but it contains lots of logical uh, logical coding informations in it where where you can see like all the information are not GUI that's it's not a graphical user interface type it's all maintained or it's a kind of server maintenance that is done with codings so that is possible to communicate with the computers as well as with IBM internet gateway the internet gateway that allows and manages access between the LANs and the internet LANs here means a group of com a group of computers that is connected to a local network the local area network so it manages by communicating with all the computers uh, in the local area connected as well as it also gives an internet internet access to all the computers in the network so here there is a kind of restrict uh, the kind of uh, access to the LAN users to have internet and vice versa also happens LAN gateway in the LAN gateway it allows a segment of local area connections running on different protocols or a different network modules to connect with each other and a router is a single port on the router or even servers may act as LAN gateway which means the working of the router is also been splitted like a server connecting on the gateway this is more or less same a working of router and a server connector on the gateway is both are the same working activities the LAN, LAN gateway categories might include remote access server which means accessing uh, the computer or or devices from one location outside the network and communicating to the local area network assuming a, a sales person uh, who's uh, who used to roam outside and he wants to connect to the network of the organization so from outside he will be able to communicate with the local area network of the organization using the remote access server so by this way the communication is done even when it is outside the network so that is what gateway does a uh, multiple activities here so this is all gateway about